Hey guys, Phase Two Action Review here, and today we are going to be checking out my 2023 Christmas haul, and I do know that the video will be coming out after Christmas and after the New Year, so if you're watching this, Happy New Year. And yes, yeah, so let's get right into the haul and see what I got. So starting up first, I did get the Gaming Grigates General Grievous. Um, this is the one from Star Wars Battlefront 2. It does come with the four sabers he has, and he is battle damaged so that's like the difference between the other um grievous this one doesn't come with the cape and it's more battle damage i actually really like the way this one looks like the damage on the chest and stuff see like the blast marks this is actually the version that i use in battlefront 2 i don't use the completely battle damage i use like the mid one which is this one right here like mid damage so i really like this figure can't wait to open it up and going over to some retro carded figures, I did get Princess Leia from Return of the Jedi. This is the 40th anniversary of Return of the Jedi version. Uh, this is the last um, um, character that I needed for the trio, I guess, of Luke, Leia, and Han from Return of the Jedi. The other ones I do have is the Galaxy South packaging one, but that really doesn't matter. It's the same figure either way. And I think this one also looks pretty good. Check that out right there. Comes with her hat, the poncho, her blaster. And if you take the poncho off, it'll just be like the um, the, re the rebel board meeting, I guess you could call it, style. So there's that. And then for another Return of the Jedi figure, I got the Biker Scout figure. So this is actually my first uh, plain Biker Scout. The one like doesn't have like the... Uh, electric baton or like the um the vest or anything so i think this is really cool i'll probably be giving it the rifle uh, like the scout rifle from battlefront 2 as well and i think that'll turn out pretty cool can't wait to take some figure photography with this guy now another carded figure i guess we can do these two at the same time i did get the power of the force yavin 4 leia she looks pretty cool. I want to get the Luke Skywalker so I can make that little scene there. Sorry about my light glare. I know that's really bad right now. But yeah, I think that looks pretty cool. The back does have a little card there. You can see that. Super reflective on the back. Like a nice metallic finish to it. I like that a lot. And then for my last carded figure, it is the dark trooper um from the mandalorian it is the credit collection one this is actually my first credit collection figure yet so i guess i'll see how these turn out i really like the blast effect on that one i know you can see it right there this one is completely different from well different like look and paint apps and i really like how it has like the white fade at the bottom i think that looks really cool and i think the figure overall looks pretty cool i like how it's all stylized and yeah so, let's get into some Clone Wars ones. So, up here, I did get Pre Vizsla. He looks super awesome. I know a while back, um, I think it was my 15 subscribers um, celebration video. I did a top 10 uh, wish list from Clone Wars. And Pre Vizsla was pretty high on that list. So, I'm super happy they actually made the figure. It is on the Django body, which... The articulation might not be the best, but I feel like for Pre Vizsla, he doesn't really he doesn't really go into like super super dynamic poses, so he would just be standing there with the dark saber looking cool. On the back, he does have his art. You can see that right there, and the bio. There we go. And on any of these figures, if you'd like to see me do a review, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll try my best to make a review of that figure. Now, continuing this line of Clone Wars, I did get the Clone Wars uh, Ahsoka. I think this is, what, the season three through five, maybe? No, it's somewhere around there. But uh, this is a, definitely the best Ahsoka figure yet. Let me try and raise this a little bit. There we go. Best Ahsoka figure yet. I love the lightsabers, how it like the actual lightsaber themselves, I have opened this figure up. I'll probably make a YouTube short or a full review on this, 
but the lightsaber itself is so super super vibrant of a green and i think that looks really cool and i always liked how on plastic free packaging you can see this i just don't like how you can actually can't see the figure in the box but yeah so if you want to see the bio it's right there right there and it is number 13 in the clone wars line Now, these two right here are definitely some figures I've been wanting for a long time now. Um, they just came out this year, and they were on my wish list for a while. And these, both of these figures, I think, were also on my Clone Wars wish list. But it is Vibes and Jesse. And I think they look super cool. Um, I know Jesse isn't supposed to have, like, the, the antenna, but you can just take that off and trim up over here. And fives. I think they both look really, really cool. You can see them on the side here. That looks really good. And then the back of both of them. So you can see the little bio right there if you'd like to see it. This is number 12 and 16 in the Clone Wars line. And I think that's pretty much it for named Clone Wars figures. Now there is figures that were in the Clone Wars, like this one right here, which is Commander Apo. And this is on the new 2023 clone body and that is super cool as you can see oppo right there i know like the chest piece is like an overlay now like that's the difference between all the other ones so that's pretty cool there you go now for another clone i'm just gonna do all my clones not right now but for the next couple of few so this is the Commando, and I think this actually looks really cool in person. I really like that artwork on the side there. Kind of see it better right there. There's the bio on the back, and the product shot right there. And yeah, this figure is super, super cool. I'll always love the Commando design. Now coming up, I do have some Bad Batch members. So I have Echo, Omega, don't fall, don't fall. There we go. Omega. Hunter. Tech. And... Rekka. Right here. So, I did finish off the whole Season 2 Bad Batch members right here. And I think I definitely will make a video for these guys because they all just came out super great uh, you would expect them to be like just repaints of the season one versions or the clone wars versions but there actually are quite a few differences between them all and that's really cool um especially with tech there's a lot of differences with tech and hunter those are the main two but um yeah so these all came out really great i did open these ones already that is a benefit of the plastic free packaging is you can't really tell once you open them. So that's good for reviewing at least, but not really when you're shopping for them in stores. Coming up next is some figures from Jedi Survivor. So there's the B1 Battle Droid. I just recently uh, beat Jedi Survivor. Such a good game. I think this one was even better than the last, honestly. It was so fun. On the side, you can see that. And on the back, another picture with a bio. And then, as well as this one from Survivor, I also have the Riot Scout, one with the shield specifically, and the Rocket Trooper. This one says Fallen Order, but it's the same thing. So these are all really, really cool figures. Um, I do have the first Riot Scout that wasn't in the um, Galaxy packaging. So it's really cool to have the one with the shield and without. I think that's pretty awesome. And this um, Jet Trooper is really cool itself. I love the uh, rocket launcher it comes with. It was really nicely sculpted. You can see it on the side there. You can see the rocket launcher right there. And he does come with a pauldron, and if you didn't want the pauldron, these stormtrooper heads are super easy to pop off. So you can just pop the head off and then slide the pauldron over the neck. And even then, you could just have a regular stormtrooper and give the rocket launcher to like a clone trooper or another stormtrooper. So this is a really cool army builder as well. Now 
Uh, coming up next is a completely different era for, well, not really. I'm thinking of Clone Wars, but still, it is the Chopper. And as well as Chopper, I got Huye, Hera, and I'll show the next few in a second here. But all of these figures right here look really, really good. Right here, this Hera looks super cool. This, um, all of these figures really could just go with, um, just like regular Rebels, or if you wanted them to be Ahsoka specifically. Um, I know Hu Yang wasn't really in Rebels, and if he was, I'm just blanking out on it, but either way, he was with Ahsoka, and I can just put that Ahsoka with the Rebels, so I think that looks really cool. The figure, and the backpack, the data pad. And this is the re-release of the Chopper, and Chopper definitely needed a re-release because he was getting pretty pricey and hard to find overall in stores, or like, um, like comic stores or online. He was getting pretty expensive, so happy they did re-release that, and he looks awesome. Sorry for me bumping my mic. But up next is the Sabine Wren and Ezra Bridger. Uh, this is like the season three one from Rebels. Um, I know it is like the one from the hologram in Ahsoka, but it's the Rebels um, uh, style. And same with this one. This can, can also just be Rebels because I do have Kanan already. So it'd be cool to have some of those be together. Um, so I don't just have Kanan by himself. I know it sounds funny, but it would be cooler just to have them all displayed together. So I think that's what I'll be doing with these. Um, let's take a look at Sabine. She comes with the same lightsaber that's in there, just slightly different paint apps, I believe. I don't think there's any sculpting differences besides paint. And um, it looks super cool in the paint um, um, application. Looks really good on this one. The two blasters, the blue, and then the gold, all looks really good. And yeah, I can't wait to open this one up. And he comes with his blaster, which is kind of like the one from Han Solo. I don't know if it's the same sculpting. Might be, but I think that still looks really cool. And Ezra himself just looks super awesome. He has the hook there, the uh, holster for the blaster, and then his lightsaber. So, yeah. And then, up next is a Holiday Trooper, and this is the Mandalorian Scout. This Holiday Trooper was the main one I wanted. Like, this one looks really, really cool. The white just looks so clean on here. I think that looks super cool. Then it comes with a little Babu um, clone blaster. And I like how, since they own Nerf, they can kind of make the blasters look like Nerf guns. So that's really cool. And then back there, you can see his jetpack. And another one for the Fallen Order slash Jedi Survivor is the Knight Brother Archer. I do have the other yellow Knight Brother, so this one will go right with him and look awesome. That bow looks really cool there. I love that bow. These next two are both from Andor, and this is Cassian, Andor, and the Shore Trooper. Um, these both look really, really cool. That Andor looks really good there. You can see the bio on the back in the picture. I want to read that right there. And then same with the Shore Trooper. All right, so we're getting down to the last few. We got a Reva and a fourth sister. So these are two Inquisitors from Kenobi. I think they both look really, really cool. And yeah, these are both really awesome figures. Uh, the fourth sister is in plastic-free packaging and Reva is in the regular plastic shell, which is cool. And, yeah, so that's pretty much it for those two Inquisitors. So getting down to the last few here, I got 
HK87. This will probably just be going with my Ahsoka stuff, um, uh, slash Rebels. Those will be mashed together. I think he looks really cool right there. And then I also got Din Djarin from Morak, the, the disguise. Um, really cool to have this, so this can go with my uh, Migs Mayfeld. Um, this one will be keeping the helmet on, and then Migs Mayfeld will be having the helmet off. So this looks really cool. Happy to finally have this one. You can see what he looks like on the side there. And then last but not least, I got Black Chrysanthemum from um, Book of Boba Fett. Uh, this is my second Book of Boba Fett figure. Um, I still need Fennec, but that is an older figure now, so I'll have to probably get that one online. Um, you can see the artwork on the side here. I think that face looks menacing. I think that looks really cool. On the back, you can see a uh, product shot as well as the bio. So if you want to read that right there, you can pause it right there. And I can see them on the side. So um, yeah, that's pretty much everything I got uh, for my Christmas haul. This is definitely one of my biggest hauls yet, if not my biggest haul yet. And yeah, so if you want to share what you got for Christmas, put it down in the comments down below. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great new year. Anita Max Wien.